welcome back on board the Oberdin. So last time we wrapped up everything we could from chapter 7 and we decided to look for other things and um, nothing was more obvious than this right here. Uh, this, you, if you look at the map of the ship well the deck plans rather this was the chamber for the midshipman. Another thing that we could have used earlier is that this chamber is for the stewards. And right here we can quite obviously see a, the suit of a steward. So we already knew. Uh, we, we could have known that uh, the person who was crushed by the loose cannon was in fact uh, a steward. Anyhow, uh, let's see what happens here. Oh no! You're cut! Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. T tell Pete's mother I, I... I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back, to save him. You tell her yourself. Uh, uh, Brennan! Bring the surgeon's kit! Okay. So, here we have William Oscar, who died in the end, and this man over here, and this man over here quite visibly listening for something. The last words were Brennan bring the surgeon's kit. So this is Brennan. Let's see, where is Brennan? That's a better question. There we go, Henry Brem Brennan, a seaman from England. So, this part they consider easy. I think that somebody could be very easily confused and think that this is Brennan. And we have even more like, look at this, this is a mess. This is an absolute mess, but before we move on, look at this. He's wearing... He's, he, this is also a, a midshipman, which is why he's in these chambers. But you can tell... You can... You remember him, well, you can remember him, from the previous chapter, and the last thing he said was tell Pete's mother I tried my best to say I'm paraphrasing but that's what he said so we don't know who he is yet we know that uh, he was well knifed and we don't know from whom yet but we can tell something else. This right here. They were wearing uh, similar uniforms and... Um, we're basically looking for Peters, right? So there is Samuels and Georges and Williams and Renfreds and Nicholas and Henry but only one Peter Peter Milroy So now we're up to 12 fates. But we're not done yet. As I said, there is a huge mess of people here. Like, look at that.
there were two corpses on the ground. So, what could have happened here? What's all this shit, Oh, boy. Okay. So, he's holding the gun. And this guy's head is blown off. So we can as we can be pretty certain that he shot him. And Ren came and clubbed the crap out of him. Holy god. And if we had any qualms about saying that he was knife, well here's the knife. And here's a lot of blood. Again, these are wearing uh... Wow, okay. I mean We don't know who he is yet, but we know that he was clubbed by Henry Brennan. <laughs> oh my, okay. So let's see how this went on to happen. This man over here, whoever he is, knifed him. And then there was a struggle between these two, where they, where he eventually shot him dead. Oh wow! Okay. I don't know who he is yet, but we will find out. Uh, <laughs> no, he was <laughs> he was shot. We don't know who who did it though. Or well, we know who did, but we know we don't know who he is. Okay, that sounds stupid. Um, but wait, there is more. As we saw, a corpse was being flung overboard. So now we have to go around the top. And see what happened here. Stop! Let them go! Oh 
Oh, oh my. You remember her? She's the one with the ring. She saw him with the musket. There's a man here. And someone else. I don't know who he, that man is though. The captain. The first mate. And Brennan. Downstairs, there is this uh, other fellow that was killed in the end. And here's further confirmation as to what happened. Yep, stab him in the back. So, we don't know who. Again, we don't know who did this. Well, we know who did it this time, and I'm gonna show you why. As I said, that woman wore a ring on her ring finger. Now, this is the 17th century, so this implies that she's married. Uh, so he was uh, shot by... And if you look at the crew, well, we, see, we know Abigail is dead, and this is chapter 9, so she's already dead. We will find... That there is. Where, are, where is it? Two female passengers that are. Well, not. Well, there is one more, obviously. We saw her in the picture for Mosin Royalty. Uh, she, she's one of those. We don't know her name yet, but from the. Uh, others, the European ones, there's Emily Jackson and Miss Jane Bird. Now, if she's a miss, she's not married, so it's Emily Jackson, actually. But wait. There is more. Oh yeah, there's more. Okay, we have to go to this side. Because... That man had already killed someone. find there is another lady, the other lady rather, and there's him as well. We don't know who he is yet. Okay, well, we know who she is though. We also can tell who she is. So, Miss Jane Bird. And this poor soul. He's called Paul. Trying to escape, but uh, it didn't work out. So, again, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that this is Paul. 
we have to find Paul though. There is one, Paul Moss. And that's the only Paul. So he was killed sword by an unknown attacker. We don't know who he is yet. But wait, there is more. again to find this let's let a mess do its spinny thing and we go over here to this uh, armchair there's a man missing an arm. Put me down. Let me go. Easy oh. now. You're in a bad way. Is this is squid. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. The, that. The beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. Captain came up from the hold, said he chased it off. <coughs> you should rest. A curse like that does not lead for nothing. So he was the one talking to him. Quite clearly, hear him say the word damned. And he was looking for his Frenchman. The poor soul got knifed earlier. The captain. that his mate was torn apart. They didn't say his friends, but they said his mate. And again, he's, he was speaking with an accent, but he said the word damned. Well, that already gives us uh, quite a few clues. That is a very good example, uh, and in fact, the only other Austrian with, uh, is uh, the gunner, and his mate is Polish, not French. So this is in fact Alfred Klestil. I'm not sure, I probably butchered that name, sorry. He was torn apart by a beast. Okay. Now. We also received another bit of info. His Frenchman, which we saw we saw earlier, was also killed by a terrible beast. He was torn apart by the Kraken, they said. We saw those two fighting together. Now the game thinks that we don't know, but we do. The game thinks that to be certain we have to see them together, but we did see them together fighting the Kraken. But let's just keep it for now and um, figure out what happens later. If you don't understand what I mean, well, if you see the previous scenes, you'll see that uh, our friend Alfred here was fighting the Kraken. The Kraken had wrapped his uh, ten its tentacle around his arm, which is actually the arm that's missing. 
So again, we don't know who or what happened to them, we just know that they want to leave. We'll find out though. Anything else we can find? Nope, that's pretty much it. So that's it in the memories of uh, the ninth chapter, The Escape. Uh, I wish we had more clues and more answers, but we'll have to find them a bit later. So bear with, and I'll see you on the next one.